Well, just like John McClane in Die Hard, it's very difficult to get rid of Real Madrid, no matter how tough it is for them or how tough we think it is for them. And it really wasn't today, as they destroyed Celtic, obviously, as Santiago Bernabéu topped the group in the Champions League. Luis Miguel Echegaray, LME, Yanis Mejalek. Yanis, we were all worried. Well, some of us were a little bit worried about Real Madrid, but it didn't happen. Obviously, they took care of business. Your initial reaction from Los Blancos. Find find me the two that were worried about Real Madrid. <laughs> the, the two in, in, in the whole world. No, let, let's be honest here, right? I mean, uh, I, I can understand what you're saying. I, I think in a sense, it was an important game for them. Obviously, I mean, implications ahead of that was that, you know, Leipzig, if they won and Real Madrid uh, dropped points, you know, it wasn't going to be pretty. Leipzig won easily 4-0. So there's something to be played for. I think Carlo Ancelotti was mindful, not just because of that. I think the fact that they've lost and drew uh, a last couple of games, right? Lost to uh, Leipzig and drew against uh, Shakhtar. It was a last moment uh, draw as well. Rudiger, didn't he? Very, very late uh, in that game in Warsaw, Poland, where Shakhtar played their home games. And also the draw against Girona uh, in, in La Liga. So I think, you know, for the momentum, for the feel-good factor and all of that, I think it was important. And that's why we saw a very good squad or a very good starting 11 uh, as well. So I think it was important. But at the end of the day, if I don't think there's a team around the world that knows how to kind of break down their season and know when to recover their injured players and when to be at their best. And that, of course, means the one competition and the one competition only that Real Madrid cares about the most. And that, of course, is uh, uh, Champions League. So no worries for me, um, you know, on paper, an easy win. A couple question marks, of course, a couple chances early on uh, by Celtic and Josip uh, Juranovic uh, missing penalty, or I should say uh, a wonderful save by uh, Thibaut Courtois, and the rest is history. That's where I was going, Yanis. I'm glad you took me there. Great segue. I was going to talk about, obviously, Karim Benzema. Real Madrid clearly need to show that they're more than just their French striker, and they did that today with Valverde, Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr. But Thibaut Courtois, so important for this team, Giannis, because at that point, had Celtic scored, it would have been 2-1. And obviously, we still think that Real Madrid would have been favored, but still pretty shaky. Just how big is Courtois? And how big is he going to be, obviously, in the knockout stages? And you're right, and I'll add to it in a second, because it's not just that, uh, the usual suspects, if you will. Of course, Thibaut Courtois, arguably uh, one off or the best for some in the world, right? I mean, I'm sure you get an argument just like about anybody, about any goalkeeper or player, but he's up there. Incredible, made a couple saves. And that last one, I still haven't decided, you know, the one goal that was scored by Jota from a free kick, he got a hand on it. Uh, you know, we're here <laughs> talking about, I didn't even have a chance to look at it more than once, so I I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but he's made a couple of saves in the game anyway, in the penalty uh, kick save as well. Uh, obviously, very, very important. We remember what happened last season, how big he was throughout uh, La Liga and in particular Champions League. Uh, but as you said, look, I mean, at 4-0, uh, to add insult to injury, you bring on uh, Karim Benzema when the game's decided. Of course, we know he's had a, a small injury, so it's probably just bringing him on and uh, giving him uh, a few minutes as well, but that's how good they are. But the one play that I think nobody or not nobody counted on is Marco Asensio. I mean, how good has he been? Just recently surplus the requirements. And I was like, my goodness, I know injuries, loss of form. I mean, such a good, uh, intelligent uh, and technical player. And he was surplus the requirements. We thought he was going to be gone. Next thing you know, within a month or two, He's getting a new contract <laughs> or there's talk about it. I'm not sure where it stands right now. So uh, we've seen, I mean, that goal today, you saw it, right? I mean, just wonderful. It looks like a goal, but I'm looking half valley with the inside of his foot while, while sliding. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's tremendous as well. So uh, what, what else can you say? Fede Valverde out of this world. Every game, he just adds and adds uh, to his value. Uh, uh, that's like four goals in, I don't know, six games or something like that for him. Also got an assist as well uh, today in this game. So I don't want to say firing on all cylinders, but I think there will be. At this moment, I thought so before, and unless someone proves me otherwise, once again, the favorites to win the Champions League. Hands on right now, because we often talk about, oh, PSG and Manchester City, we've been there, we've done that. At the end of the day, who lives that big cup with big ears, right? It's Real Madrid. So uh, uh, I know it's a long season. Everything will change because of the World Cup, Luis, as you know. Uh, there's going to be a transfer window, but you know what? 
Ancelotti and Real Madrid already said, we're not buying any, we're not changing anything. We're good enough, we're deep enough, we have a great camaraderie, we all have experience, and we're all winners. We know how to get this thing done. We'll see. That's the key in the Champions League. More than talent, more than experience is that winning mentality. And nobody can have it more than Ancelotti's Real Madrid. We'll have to wait and see how they fare in the knockout stages. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.